going here. So tell me, what um, what decided you, inspired you? Was the 10-year anniversary? You said, we got to do a book. What, where did this come about? Well, I think um, I started uh, with Stephen at a very unusual time, in a very sad and, and difficult time, because um, when you think about it, we presented our plan for Bazaar and the new Bazaar on September the 12th. Mm. And Manhattan was, of course, deserted, and we were recovering from the shock, and it was so much sorrow and loss. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I look back and I just think it was so f a time when you felt fashion was so frivolous, and, and how was it going to be relevant in the future when we um, the world was such an uncertain place? Mm -hmm. And. It was actually, though, having gone through that, it made us even more determined to produce a party that everybody was invited to mm. and to try and make everybody remember that what fashion is all about is making a woman feel good about herself and, and enjoying it and having fun and reminding ourselves life's too short not to enjoy it mm -hmm. and so that's the energy and spirit we tried to bring back into Bazaar mm -hmm. and to put on our pages. So 10 years on, as people look back on September the 11th, and indeed, as you know, we've got this exhibition at the International yeah. Centre of Photography, and downstairs they've got the exhibition of, of uh, September the 11th, and then upstairs we're, we're there, and um, I hope that uh, as uh, people go round and see that's what happened then, but, but upstairs this is what our exhibition is about, mm -hmm. is what happened next. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very positive and full of joy. When you were researching the book, um, did anything surprise you? Just the sheer volume of, of stuff that I loved. <laughs> and I was really thrilled that Abrams were very understanding because I edited the book in two weeks um, because all the hard work had been done. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I got 100 pages more than they had accounted for. Mm -hmm. And at first they were like, forget that. And then when they looked through everything, they were like, yes, definitely, okay. Um, so they gave us the extra 100 pages. I'm really thrilled they did. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, is there, do you have a particular favorite or is it like choosing between children is there one that stands out it's impossible to mm. choose. is it are there any ones that you like um i have to say that the demi moore cover with the giraffe is wow. one of my all-time favorites well that came about because i was so moved by lee's collection mm -hmm. and uh, we were shooting the cover it's for the april issue um uh it was in december mm -hmm. it was uh third week of december and i'd called demi up and i said now nah, I, I have this dream I want it to be like a Dali painting, mm -hmm. and it's going to be set on the beach, and I want you to stand on top of a spiral staircase wearing those very precarious armadillo shoes, and I want you to be feeding a giraffe. And I honestly thought she put the phone down, but she's, she's somebody who really understands the importance of producing iconic imagery, mm -hmm. and she goes, okay, well, I'll give it a try. <laughs> uh, she did, um, and then... I think to, to come out in the April issue, and obviously you were there at the collection, so, mm -hmm. and to hear about um, the loss of McQueen, mm -hmm. I can't think of a better tribute mm -hmm. to him than, than that image. I would agree. And, and one last question. For you, over the last 10 years working at Harper's Bazaar, how have you seen fashion change? What's really changed for you uh, since you started? Well, I love the history of fashion, as you know. Mm -hmm. and, um, I, I'm a failed fashion designer. I went to fashion college, but at least I knew I was a hopeless designer. <laughs> but the one thing I, I love is, is understanding how fashion reflects what's going on in our society. Mm -hmm. And so if you look back since September the 11th, you know this because you've seen all those shows. Yes. And you know that metallics has been on every runway. Mm -hmm. And you've seen from September the 11th into fashion getting more and more um, ornate and more embellished. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was the reason was, was if you have to run, everyone was thinking, well, I want to take my riches with me. Mm -hmm. And then fashion got so, so, so heavy mm -hmm. that nobody could run anymore mm -hmm. if they needed to. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden we have a swing back into minimalism. Mm -hmm. This is, of course... Yes, generalization, the, but mm -hmm. then the rhythm. And then now we found we've come through minimalism and we found that we want to be optimistic. Mm -hmm. As we because the world remains so uncertain, we want to see some joy and some life in, in what we're wearing. Mm -hmm. 
mean? And, and so all the print is a reflection of what's going on. It's that the fact there's, of course, there's, there's, there's a very good reason why we're all looking at the 20s mm -hmm. and the 50s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For inspiration, that yeah. because that sums up a mindset. Mm -hmm. And if you look at my September issue, um, what you saw the Margaret Thatcher, which yes. Susie, Susie wrote, wrote, wrote it. so beautifully. Yeah. And of course, as you know, Susie's, mm -hmm. yeah, know, she's my all time Susie, favorite Susie. Yeah. writers. And um, and I just really want her her to write that piece, mm -hmm. and she really had to give it some thought, but because. It wasn't just the fact that Meryl Streep was going to appear in the TV mm -hmm. program, I reflect in Margaret Thatcher's life, but it was also, to me, it was reflecting, again, what was going on in society, because all of a sudden, it's like, as, as this, there was a recession, and mm -hmm. women had to compete with men in the workforce, mm -hmm. then, of course, that was the reason why there were so many pants suits. Yes. And then, all of a sudden, hello, shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because we needed to feel more powerful, more mm -hmm. confident. Mm -hmm. when trying to get a jobs. bit of armor yeah armor exactly going back to what we talked about before yeah and um and so you open up the september issue of bazaar mm -hmm. and then you, you turn on the tv to see riots in britain yeah it's scary it's cyclical yeah. and scary yeah but it is no doubt about it fashion mm -hmm. mirrors and i think what makes bazaar unique is the fact that you look through the book is is um, we're not just about headlines, we are about headlines. Mm -hmm. Now, what other fashion magazine can you think that breaks for news page stories? Yeah. And um, it's, it's really, we're trying to have the very best of, of the images that you dream mm -hmm. and you aspire and you get excited to look at. Uh, and then, as you know, in the magazine, we also have the front half of the magazine, which is dedicated to ideas mm -hmm. and suggestions mm -hmm. and fabulous at every age. Mm -hmm. It's Which like I love. That balance mm -hmm. is, is what makes us unique. Thank you, Glenda, very much. I appreciate I it. Had that. That was That's great. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs>